With a body length of about 20 centimeters, bullfrogs are the largest frogs in North America, as well as the champion jumpers. Bull-legged Larry was a frog at the pond. Jump so high, might miss him while he gone. Jump over anything, even King Kong. Jumping Jack Flash was his favorite song. Now once upon a time there was a cat in a tree. Chased the squirrel up, been stuck since three. The fireman came, said it's too high for me. It's too high. How's that cat gonna ever get free? free? Young Jack Turner was a staple on the block. Said he knew about a frog with an XL hot. The neighbor started laughing, but Jackie wouldn't stop. Ran off, came back, guess who we got? Well, it was long-legged Larry didn't open his mouth. Like a rocket to the moon through a cumulus cloud. Touchdown safe, laid a scaredy cat on the ground. If you listen real close, you can still hear the crowd. Go Larry, go Larry, go, go, go Larry. Go Larry, go Larry, go, 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 go. Larry doesn't care. Jump so high, grow a beard in the air. Jump over anything, even Times Square, yelling long-legged Larry for mayor. Here, here. Now once upon a time, there was a princess in a cell. In the tower of a castle, through a forest on a hill. Half the men that ever sought her out had fallen ill. All the men that ever tried to climb the wall had fell. Handful gather at the base of the place. Each claim way braver than the bravest you faced. Bunch of dingbats yapping about saving the day. But wait, a silhouetted amphibian face in the haze. Well, it was long-legged Larry on the back of a steed. Lapped up, yelling Jordan, kissed the girl on the cheek. Touchdown safe, showed a lady back to her peeps. If you listen real close, you can still hear the streets. Go Larry, go Larry, go, go, go Larry. on the case. Jump so high, pluck a star out of space. Jump over anything, even Salt Lake. Jump into the mosh pit, jump out of a cake. Now once upon a time, there was a circus in town. Some went for the cotton candy, some for the clowns. But the high wire act was the most profound. Had a poodle on a unicycle, rose in her mouth. 10 o'clock show, get the poodle in position. 10 seconds in, the unicycle starts tipping. Not a poodle barely clinging to the wire by her mittens. But what the heck is that thing in the distance? Ribbit, long-legged Larry, a sight for sore eyes. Known to give a dog a ride seconds after he arrives. Touchdown safe, give her some kibbles and raw hide. If you listen real close, you can still hear the vibe. Go Larry, go Larry, go, go. Folks, welcome to the All That Dope Shit podcast number forty-six. Yes, yes, perfect. Is that right? Did you, did you check before you came down the stairs? Yes, yes. I think it's, 46. it's number forty-six. I'm just impressed. Definitely, one hundred percent sure. Uh, we just kicked off there with Ace of Rock with a track called "Long Legged Larry." Uh, Quality, dope Jen. You ready to podcast on that, Craig? Aye. Uh, ready to podcast on that? Number forty-six. All right. Ready to go. And we're back. So, week 46, Craig. Woo! This has been a fucking... Does, right. This is Ric Flair drip right there. Yes. I, I, feel, I feel weird when, like, trap artists talk about drip and stuff like that. I feel it was, like, weird and just, like... I think what that is. Like, when they talk about, like, drip is basically, like, their, their clothing and, like, what they're wearing and, like, how cool they look and shit. So that's their drip. Right? But... That's their drip. That's their drip. That, that's what they call the drip. The drip. Is their style? Mm-hmm. That's fucking stupid. But that, that's what the young, that's what the young kids call it nowadays, man. The young childs. The young guys like um, that, a uh, Cas Mulligan guy. The guy there's a uh, glasses and shit. There's uh, sunglasses during the summer, man. Yeah, which is fine. Which is the normal uh, fucking day. To be fair, I need to wear sunglasses during the summer. 
I think I should definitely be there as well. He wears sunglasses at night and shit, is, is what I mean. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, Bell End. Uh, so he, he, he gets his drip and he's lit and all that kind of stuff. and All the cool, all the cool shit the kids do nowadays, man. It's unfortunate they weren't lit on fire. <laughs> Cause that so we just, been... so just lit them on fire. Because that would have been so much better. <coughs> that's it, but that's what the kids are into getting lit. And then they're getting... We are so old. Fire and shit. We're like, oh, these young kids wearing young sunglasses kids, at man. night. Yeah. What in the hair aisle? What in the hair aisle is all this nonsense. In reality, they're totally fine. But we're like, I'm, I'm almost 30, yeah. so fuck the youngins. I keep having to look at myself sometimes and think, um, the music I listen to is different for, for what the youngins listen to. <laughs> And, like, I need to check myself sometimes as Before well. Before you wreck it, yourself. Oh, God, see, that's what the old youngins used to say. <laughs> I'm all done with the kids, nah. Oh, fuck you. You're, oh, nah. I'm hip. That's a separate drip. Separate drip, right, aye. God's sake. I meant, like, an old guy, like, on, like, a, on a drip. On a drip, by <laughs> Saline water, aye. Uh, Gone through his veins because he's got diet, so he doesn't get it. Saline water. Oh, with the hands. Aye. With the hip-hop hands that people do. I love that when, like, 40-year-old women. It's like, oh, hip-hop, eh? Like that, and then they do that. Oh, they do hands. that. Aye, aye. Great. Anyway, we're not aye. that old yet. But we'll get there. But we'll get there. We will get there, aye. Yeah. I'm sure. I mean, you're almost 40. I am. That's fucking scary, isn't it? When are you 40? Oh. Six years. Six years. So you're not almost 40. Seven. I'm 33. Aye, only for, like, a month. Or five. Or five months. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not far away, not far away. Then you'll be closer to 40. Aye. I mean, technically, everybody's closer to 40. Basically, aye. Every day you get closer to 40. So. Mm-hmm. There you go. Unless you're already 40, then every day you get closer to... You get further away from being 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fucking... <laughs> oh, my God. That is true, though. That is true, and we should move on. <laughs> Let's get to some music. What a fucking enlightening start to the podcast. Oh my fucking god. Let's get kicked in with Gavlin and DJ Hopper. This track's called Born With It. Drip Drip. They don't believe what they say. Painting a picture of daily will say. Proof of myself on the plateau of fools. Get recognized and I shine like a jewel. Ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Eh, eh, yeah. You ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Yeah. Nowadays I got the light, focus on within, now it's on sight Yeah, I make the rules, don't wanna choose Everyone to credit, tell them walk in my shoes I was a diamond in the rough, used to feel empty Anything could take me under, if you tempt me Right at this moment, I'm above the negativity Peace to the world, you ain't fucking with my energy Yeah, look, see I've been that bitch, no Maybelline Spirit on another level that you never seen Elevation, real life, baby, not a dream Play my shit every time I pull up on the scene My every dance, something nice, oh, so mean Some got a smoke screen, looking like they so green Oh, that ain't my problem, though I been flying through the shit like a pile of rope huh. I got a sound so profound With a voice to fill a room, yeah, shake it above ground Never lost a fire, baby girl, bam, bam Killing all these mics like a fucking bloodhound Take a look around, yeah, we West Coast bound Rep the eight grenade if you know my background Know this ain't a game, know this ain't a playground Turn that wise up, cause we ten toes down they don't believe what they see. Painting a picture of daily routine. Proof of myself on the plateau of fools. Get recognized and I shine like a jewel. Ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Eh, eh, yeah. You ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Nowadays I wanna get creative. I ain't tryna chill back and fade it. Too much on my mind, can't waste it. Feeling on my bones, baby girl, yeah, I need it. I'ma go and get mine, I'll achieve it. Cause I love what I do, believe it. That's what I want when I'm on lit. Now I'm mystery here, y'all do with me. Man, been cooking with the sauce, and your girl been a boss, Cortez, hot socks. Uh huh. Hit it ticking at the clock, so I kick the bitch in, cause we ain't gonna stop, nah uh. Old shit for the block, doing what they could not, said he looking all shocked, okay. And I ain't mad at a thing, I'ma say bless up, cause the growth is a kid. Yeah, life mad beautiful, no hate in my heart, keep it musical. Hit a wall in your path, but it's movable. Dropping every syllable like it's doable. Yeah, counting every blessing like the usual. If you want a handout, you're delusional. Might as well stay in your cubicle. Protect your energy, so suitable. They don't believe what they say. Painting a picture of daily routine. Proof of myself on the plateau of fools. Get recognized and I shine like a jewel. Ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Eh, eh, yeah. You ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Bring it back one time. 
they don't believe what they see. Painting a picture of daily routine. Proof of myself on the best of a fools. Get recognized and I shine like a jewel. Ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Eh, eh, yeah. You ask why I was born with it. I was born with it. Yeah. I'm coming for it all. Everything I saw before I came was a legend from a baby. Put respect upon my name. Not a slave, I'm the boss. Never see me in no chains. My fire is eternal, ain't no limit to my range. My internal got me pivoting all through external change. You can't stop me if you try. They told you different, they lied. Peace, knowledge, and dividends. Love is still trumping Benjamins. I'ma enjoy my time on this planet. Fuck it, I'm visiting. If I'ma be a star, the light I'm serving is Michelin. I'm all over New York like my Metro card is unlimited. I'm coming out of cars in Los Angeles like the trigger is. Serenade Chicago, I put a blanket on Michigan. The devil see me coming, he's soaking like, yo, that's him again. Helping people out of the fallacy they've been living in. 40-something minutes, I keep them focused like riddling. My mission is completed through writings, uplifting villages. Yeah. One for the bread, two for the show Thoughts in my head, I'm in tune with the flow I don't have no regrets, not consumed by my lows I reflect, next minute we back Money calling, we back Sun shining, we back Curtain open, we back Wanna know where I've been, they wanna know where I'm at Thanks for having my back Thank you for even listening, sifting through all the dissonance Me and Static consider this compilation felicitous Thank you for pressing play, they've been trying to kill a sunrise But you can't contain the sun, trust me we have just begun Hear me running from behind, showing you the silver lining as I show you where I'm from I got Brooklyn in my head, New York City in my lungs They gon' miss me when I'm dead, do not let that make you glum Everybody gotta go but as long as I am stuck in this body, I'm slinging hope in healthier ways to cope. Help you to stay afloat. Wealthy, okay, or broke. I seen everything. Everyone knowing I'm speaking cold like. One for the bread, two for the show. Thoughts in my head, I'm in tune with the flow. I don't have no regrets, not consumed by my lows. I reflect, next minute we back. Money calling, we back. Sun shining, we back. Curtain open, we back. Wanna know where I've been, they wanna know where I'm at. Thanks for having my back. We back. We back. We back. Where I've been. Where I'm at. Thanks for having my back. Disturbing us, instead of just trying to nurture us, they call it virtuous. The puppets of government murder us. For certain, this assertiveness got me speaking with brokenness. The more they bug testing, the more I'm seeking a herbalist. We're sign of fire, law black, no metamorphosis. My physical form's enough to list me in supporting it. Fuck a martial law or any particular type of ordinance. I've been in the mix, I'm about they shape like a contortionist. Never can forfeit this one journey in history. I had you shut the doors on them Trumps, Bronies, and Hillary's. They got you falling for propaganda consistently. Officer down when we cop. And I'm hammers deliberately Explore the atlas, my story's radioactive I dance with the devil, yo, the tactics is core the graphic wars, reenacted revolution The glory is fashion Ignore the fashions, just the rap of this war Biggest actions We're from a place where the sun don't shine Trying to keep my head above the clouds one time In a murder car We live in a murder car We're from a place where the sun don't shine Trying to keep my head above the clouds one time In a murder car yeah. 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 Being a black man 
in America, but child in tribulations, born in a racist nation, they stereotype the blacks and Haitians, and other nationalities with dark pigment, we get statistic, blacks get the most critics, the shit is horrific, homie what is this, a nightmare or a false reality, the victims of racial profiling is truly a casualty of light brown, tan that resides from the motherland, it's beautiful melanin, that's uprising in Baltimore, Maryland, my natural reflex is dodge the corruption in the system, black fathers gone and the children miss them, they need their guidance and wisdom, we need more leaders, positive street teachers, with African features that uplift us without the use of reefer. To all the kings and queens, we reign supreme. We on the same team like Magic and Kareem. The only thing we missing is the championship ring. So every move we make is critical, but soon we'll be invincible. Out From a place where the sun don't shine. Trying to keep my head above the clouds one time. In America, we live in America. From a place where the sun don't shine Trying to keep my head above the clouds one time In America We live in America Hey yo, it's massive feminization and black civilizations A lack of knowledge of self and niggas are black Similar faces, the traps staying in attack And niggas react, gentrification They mentally holding us back, consider a trap, no visualization uh, They wanting to get toes and leaving them exposed We go in defense mode, they letting the tech blow That's how it is Feeling the petrol to all of it explode The pin your face, realizing that you part of the problem And copying your retros uh, The evil plotters be seeking the feeble-minded They feed and minus them dreams so they can try Seizing the dollars, yo, they demonizing It's 45, but be the equalizer they keep your private plans of Ebola and Zika virus It's in America's hands and this is the coronation We sing in the correlation, they keep us in poor equations So while we pitch the drugs to the people like Noriega The food is tainted and all the water is fluoridated From a place where the sun don't shine Trying to keep my head above the clouds one time In America, we live in America from a place where the sun don't shine Trying to keep my head above the clouds one time In America We live in America Someone to shoot, they'll all love you. To 
Shall I speak to his brother and he comes for you? Gavlin and DJ Hobbit with Born With It. Quoted the Friend and Static Selector with Sunrise. Alconscious and Raph Alpha with Amurdica. KKK. I like it. In it. That's good. Thank you. Hey, suggest this, did you know? I like it. <laughs> it just keeps on drape everything. It's brilliant. Okay, so now we're going to get into an interview with Frisco Boogie. Okay, so on the line right now, we have one of my favourite names, uh, favourite rap names I've heard in a while. Frisco Boogie, man. How, how did you come up with that name, man? Um, just, uh, it's a strange one. There's two parts to it. Frisco comes from... I've had many rap names over the years. Um, I've been doing this quite a long time. And about 1993, I watched a video um, with Supernatural on. Um, I know a lot of hip-hop heads will have heard of him. He's a world-famous freestyle MC. Yeah. And... Um, and he was doing a, a concert in um, Frisco, in California. And he kept shouting out Frisco. And something about it just made me think, you know what? I like that. And I kind of adopted that name. The boogie comes from um, dancing, because I um, I used to teach street dance, popping and um, and locking. Right. So the boogie kind of fit. I always wanted this kind of double double barrel name. Um, and then strangely enough, about probably 2000, 2001, uh, I met Supernatural through a friend of mine, Joe Buda, who does a lot of um, production. Mm. And we ended up on stage numerous times together, freestyling, you know, back and forth. <clears throat> and I remember him asking me about the name, and I was like, well, I actually got it from, from one of your shows. So it was That's like cool. three, six, Total 360 came back round, so yeah. That's awesome. So, so, you've been, so, so you've been rapping for quite a while. Like, when, did you, when did you start? Um, I put my first record out. Officially, uh, ninety two. Um, but Pretty before alone, that, man. we all started. We all started messing around at school. It's a bit of a cliche, but it was the old, you know, banging on your school desk and trying to trying to learn rap. Yeah. And the first rap I ever learned was Run DMC, Suck at MC. Mm-hmm. So I mean, going way back, I'm I'm like I'm forty eight, I'm forty nine this year. So I've been I've been rhyming for for a good thirty one, thirty two years. So, so would you I love s- that your first record is older than me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was born in ninety three, so it's a year older you than know what? you. You may love that, but I don't. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, my, my daughter, my daughter was born in in nineteen ninety three as well. So, I always say that you know, I mean, it's funny you say that. Me and my wife yesterday were talking. We, there was some music came on. It was some nineties dance music. Mm. 
And we were saying that some of the people that we that we know now that are family friends are like late twenties, early thirties. And we were like thinking they weren't even born when we were clubbing. Yeah, yeah. We were in clubs when they weren't born. And it just makes you feel like, wow, you know, it's a generation away. But I still s- doing it. So I'm quite blessed to be still doing it. So. <laughs> it's amazing as well, like how, how much like um a lot of like, a lot of like a uh, EDM and stuff nowadays, a lot of like a lot of like recent dance music, use a lot of soul samples and stuff, much like hip hop did at like in the nineties and stuff as well. It's been it's been pretty interesting. Yeah, everything everything comes around again, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. It's sort of you know the um you know the the dance music and I suppose you know disco, you know okay, then it was house music and that dance music. Everything just kind of regenerates, doesn't it? And comes back around. Mm-hmm. So soul music's dope though, like that that can work in anything. Well, that's that's the. I mean, you, you've you've recently just started to get into soul music again, uh, sort of thing, or like, but probably the first stuff you discovered, mate. Yeah, sort of yeah. Thing. As, as, as a young age man, yeah, my first uh, time discovering <laughs> that. <laughs> but yeah, it's dope. It, it should be like in everything. It's awesome, man. Awesome. So, um, well, uh, if you could talk about about um, sort of what interested you, but what first got you into like hip hop music and stuff. Um. I've always been into music from, from a young age anyway, you know, and, and again, it's a bit of a cliche, and I started playing drums when I was about eight, um, and, it, and it was from listening to a group called Adam and the Ants, which was like a punk group, um, mm. and it just got me into drumming, which got me into music, and then I joined a lot of bands when I was in my teens, um, but I've always, I always loved hip-hop from, really, from b-boy days, when we all started breaking and popping, um, and the music came alongside it. So in those days, it was more um, the electro sort of hip-hop sound. Mm-hmm. You know, when when we talk about old school, me and my friends, hip-hop, we're talking about the electro sound and, you know, sort of um, Kraftwerk and Tour de France and Herbie Hancock and, and mm-hmm. people like this. It, rap was there, but when we were dancing, it was a lot more electro-based. Um, there was very few you rap records out then that people were dancing to. You were you were dancing to funk or, or electro sound. So um really I got into hip I got into rap music from the early um, electro albums. So for instance like Run DMC took at MCs and then Houdini would be on there and it and it'd go from there. Mm-hmm. And then I really got into to writing when sort of early Big Daddy Kane came out and people like that, which just made me I used to listen to them and think, this is like, this is ridiculous. You know, the way they flowed and the style. It, it, there wasn't any real, there wasn't a lot of British rappers when we first started yeah. out. There was, but not not majorly. So our influences were, you know, New York and American rap. Nowadays, you know, people that are starting these days, they're kind of blessed because there's a whole UK scene that's huge. But when we started, the UK, the UK scene wasn't, um, it was it was big, but it wasn't like it is today where it's, it's mainstream, anything yeah. goes, you know, there's a million platforms to get your, your music out. It was it was quite limited in the days that we started, really. Well, that's, you know, it's what's interesting in- that because we, we, we are sort of, ha- I'll say about a third of the way through like a Scottish hip hop special and speaking to some of the earlier guys there, they were just the first people. So it wasn't even as if they walked into a scene. It was just they walked into nothing and there was maybe a guy that had a tape at some point. Mm-hmm. But it, th- there was nothing there. They literally had to build it for the, well, that's, the bottom. They were talking about like lots of people being fans of the music. Yeah. But not a lot of people were, like having... Um, like access to recording even. Like access to recording and stuff like that. Like a lot of people were dancers and stuff like that. And, but not a lot of people had access. Like even DJing was fucking expensive at the time. Oh yeah, it, I, d- I think the difference, the difference in those days, uh, and we, you know, we talk about this, it comes up quite a lot, but I think the difference from them and now, everything's more accessible these days. It's cheaper to record, it's quicker, and it's easier to get music out. You know, for instance, I could record something tonight, and by probably Saturday, it could be up on, on Spotify and, and Apple Music and everything. It's that quick. Yeah. But, when we first started, even to get studio time was difficult because you had to f- find a, you know, a, a legit proper studio and, or someone who had their own setup in their house 
but it was good enough to record on and it was expensive and um, it you know you'd, you'd book even the way we record now is different because in those days you'd book a studio you might book three hour session and that was to do two tracks and mix so when you went in a vocal booth you had to go in and absolutely nail your verses there was no room for let me cut in let me take again it was a case of you know, uh, it, it would lay the beat, lay the beat out, and then you've got you've got 15 minutes to go and do your verse. Go, and that was it. And it, you'd go in, you'd spit it as many times as you could do in 15 minutes, and you hope one of those takes was the one that you were gonna you were gonna go with. We didn't really do any any cutting in or or mm-hmm. slides and tapes, and you know, drop drop this word in at the end. Even to the stage that when you were doing your dropouts on your drums, you do it manually on the desk. So you'd record it to that. And, and you'd be pressing the buttons across the faders, dropping the snare out and the bass. So it was all done live. So you, you had to really perfect that art um, because you didn't have the time. And, and if you had the time, it, or if, if the time was available, it was costing you more money to do it. Yeah. So it was it was harder. But, you know, so I totally understand where people are saying about building. You know, there wasn't places now. You can get a laptop, you can buy a mic, vocal booth, there you go. You 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 know you're on the net. You you put in some fancy freezing whatever music you want. In those days, you have to really sweat to get it to get it recorded, mm-hmm. and then it was the journey of trying to get it played. And there's so many like plugins and easy software to help you. I mean, I'm a total amateur. I have never taken any sound engineering lessons. I've never taken any. I've never read any music theory. And yet, I could write a song, record it, and then mix it in a day and have it sound. Pretty good. Pretty good. Like, yeah. pretty good. Not yeah. not studio quality, obviously, but pretty good. And I've done nothing. I've just essentially put on some plugins. Yeah, 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 definitely. But it's interesting you say, you know, you get it pretty good sounding. There's, there's songs that are played on the radio that were recorded in, you know, a lot of the, the old kind of niche or garage tunes were recorded in home studios mm. and mixed on people's laptops. And yeah. they're on Radio 1 playing. And, and I always find it interesting when people say about you can get a pretty good mix. Uh, 99% of the people who listen to music don't understand the mix. And I don't say that, you know, belittling anyone, but I don't listen to a mix and think, oh, why isn't there enough reverb or something on? You listen to the song, and if the song yeah. takes you, yeah. that, that's what it's about. So these days, the blessing is it gives people an opportunity to get the thoughts out and their ideas out. The curse is, there's absolutely no quality control in music anymore mm-hmm. because yeah. you don't need a label to get a record out. You can do it from your phone. Yeah. So you can put anything you want out. And, and I know some people will listen to my album and they'll, they won't like it. It won't be for them. They, they won't appreciate it. That's fine. But I know there's a lot of people that are putting records out that you think if this was vinyl and you had to walk to a studio pay for it, wait for it to come back, run to a record shop, give a few records, collect your money, drive to another, you, we wouldn't we wouldn't be having as much music as we do these days. Definitely not, definitely not. It's, it's, it's so interesting to go back on these things and just like, I, I heard once somebody say, um, even just finding the right studio that understood what to do with hip hop, that was a pain yeah, in the ass in yeah. itself because, like, you had like lots of studios that were prepared fully for uh, singers and bands and stuff. But to but to work with turntables and shit like that, people were like not ready for it. Because <laughs> mm. they didn't. Because it, it was in those days, it was new yeah. and no one knew. But to be honest, <clears throat> when we all started, we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> a lot of the, you know, we put samples together that that didn't match, that were out of time. That, that didn't work, but there was a vibe there, mm-hmm. and 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 if the vibe was working, you you'd go with it. We played many shows um, off tape, not even DAP tape, cassette tape on a cassette, mm-hmm. going to a PA. So the quality must have been abysmal. Yeah. But you still have people jumping up and down in the crowd because they heard a beat and if they liked the beat, and if you could fit, that was all it was about. It was raw. It was, you know, nowadays. People do say sometimes, you know, I can't put that out because it's not the best mix and it's not perfect. But perfection doesn't really exist the way I look at it. You've got to, at one point, you've got to stop and say, that's going. 
let someone else judge if it's perfect or not, because then I'll move on to the next project and do something else. Mm -hmm. I've, I've also heard the... I've also heard the, a sound engineer friend of ours complaining that something was too overly mixed. That, <laughs> like, drums didn't sound like the real mix. drums. Yeah. They just sounded like pops. <laughs> it was just... He's it, like... It's meant to be a rock band and it just sounds too perfect. It just it doesn't have a rock sound anymore. It's just this generic is bland, it's kinda it's overproduced. And I never thought I would ever hear that. I thought being overproduced was a good thing, but apparently not. Yeah. No, I'm so glad you've mentioned that because um I have this with my um my eldest stepson is into music. He's a great guitarist, incredible guitarist. And he plays in um rock band a, a rock band but it was a, a screamo band sort of screamo oh. band mm -hmm. so which when you first hear if you don't the same way people listen to hip-hop at times or used to and say i don't understand all that rap business when you first listen you don't understand what's going on because it's very loud and very noisy but when i hear him play the guitar parts in his bedroom it is so complicated it's unbelievable yeah. the scales they're using just it's crazy what they're doing but he'll He'll want something mixed so clean, it's unbelievable. <coughs> then if I asked him, and he did mix a tune for me once, and he mixed the sample so clean that it lost something. And when he gave me the mix, I was like, I like what you've done because it's clean, but you've taken the soul off the sample because it had a, a crackle on, which he cleared up. And I was like, <laughs> the, the, crackle was, the crackle was off the heart of the sample i was like that was the soul bit for me yeah. so there is this thing of people saying it can be too clean i i'm really lucky the guy I, the only thing i don't do for myself is mix because i don't trust my ear to mix greatly but the guy i mix with um has been doing this for so long and he's very good at new music but he's very good at, at knowing what he wants from what i want from hip-hop so sometimes i'll take a sample in or I've taken everything in, and he started to mix, and he'll say, that's slightly out of time. And then he'll say, but do you know what? Leave it, because it adds to the track. And a lot of people would be straight on there saying, let me just get it in Melodyne, move it around, get it perfect. But then it takes something away from from the, the performance and the track. It's a bit like, I suppose, dropping in every line when you're doing vocals. It's yeah. perfect. But you can never recreate that anyway. If you've had to record one line 20 times and another word 15 times, how can you ever perform that to the same standard? You can't. It's impossible. So I, I, I am still from the old school way. If you can do it in one take, do it. If it takes more, that's fine. If you need to cut in, it's okay. But if you can get the majority of it out in one take, it's got a certain flow in it and it works. But it's, yeah, too clean is a strange concept for me these days. I totally agree with you on that. It's strange. <laughs> Excellent, man. So uh, right now uh, you have Rainbows in the Rubble, which I assume is not overly processed and not uh, not overly mixed. Not too clean, no. Um, so, yeah, so you have that out right now. This is the whole reason we're here. Um, how, how was that How was that uh, putting this together, man? Um, interesting. Um, lockdown has been good to me because I, I've been working from home, but it's also created time where I'm normally travelling, so I'm not now, which mm. gives me time to work and write and do beats. And it was a follow-up to the album I put out last year called Masks of the Morning Sun. Um, and I only originally was going to come back and do one album, uh, which was Masks of the Morning Sun. Mm -hmm. And then I just started writing again, and I got the, the I kind of got the, the passion and the hunger again for it. So it's a little bit of a follow-up to that album, um, Master of the Morning Sun was very much to do with it was quite insightful there was a couple of tunes on with mom, about my mum and father who both passed away uh, um, and it was talking about those Rainbows in the Rubble was kind of saying actually life got better now things have changed and it, you're, you know you're finding those little those little sprinkles of, of, of goodness and happiness that you go wait a minute that, let me look towards that instead of looking at all the sort of the morning and the darkness of things. So the concept was very much <clears throat> moving on out of, you know, the, the place that I probably was, you know, for a few years before. And um, I cut the track numbers down, so there's 12, I think 12 tracks on there. 
I tried to do an assortment of tracks, but keep some sort of concept between the whole thing moving uh, moving through it. So I was quite happy with how it came out. Um, it's, for me, it's a bit of a progression from the last album. I think the beats are tighter, uh, the mix is tighter. You know, lyrically, I think it's, I think it's better lyrically than the first one or, or the last one I did. So yeah, it's, it's been it's been received quite well, um, which mm. always for me is a blessing and a surprise when you write something and someone says, "Oh, I like that." It still gets me to this day when when someone says, "Yeah, I really like that tune." I'm like, "Right, okay." <laughs> and you also like uh, produced uh, this whole thing as well, which is another um, one of the skills you've learned and, uh, again. And, and I feel like a lot of young people don't get this. Like when you guys first started, you were a, sort of dived deep into like hip hop culture as a whole. So you were like like learnt to do a bit of DJing and stuff like that. You were learnt to do everything, and that sort of like follows through. I feel like a lot of young people only get into one thing nowadays, but it's good to see you're doing both things, producing and rapping at the same time. Yeah, it's um, the only thing I don't do. I said, the only thing I won't do is mix because I don't trust myself to, to mix it, and you know I'm not. It, I don't enjoy that side of it. So from making the beat, even the singing, the hook, um, if the only scratching on there this time is Billy did some scratches. But on the last album, I even did some scratches on there because I'm. I, I promised myself when I got into my fifties, I'd start to learn how to DJ. So I mm-hmm. thought, you know what, I'll get getting a bit early. So I started to learn how to scratch, which was quite interesting. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit of a how can I put it? It's a bit of a selfish concept the reason why i do it all myself because waiting for other people to 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 get back to you for me i find quite frustrating and stressful not because people are slow it's just because i want everything done like yesterday yeah so if i give someone a beat and say come back to me with the verse if i say give it me in two weeks and then three weeks comes and it's not here, I think, oh, now I've got to chase. And I don't want to do that because I feel like I've bugged people. Have you done it? Have you done it? So you, I'd rather just... You're taking yourself. the words straight out of my mouth, man. This is like... <laughs> uh, by the way, the, this, this is, is your life. I've, this is how I've lived my life like for years upon years. And recently, I was only like maybe about five years ago, we, me and my brother who do this podcast, we do this podcast together. We for this found, specific reason. For this specific reason. We found out that we both share um, this same thing like we need to do everything ourselves because we it's not that we don't trust anybody else it's that we want everything done kind of that as well (laughs) but we want everything done sort of now yeah I hate hate waiting I hate asking Mm -hmm. somebody why it's not been done yet because as you say you feel like you're bugging them yeah and they're like oh I'll get it I'll get it in three four days then you go back in three four days and you feel like a dick but it's them that's no, done it. Yeah. So it's weird that you're the one that feels bad. I'm with you too. It is it, and it's. But do you know what? It makes you. It's one of those things that when you've got to be, you know, self sufficient, you have to learn what you're doing. Even to the stage that I've now started. I know I to use Adobe Premiere Pro for videos. I'm getting there with that. But even Photoshop, I've started learning, so I can do my own covers. Yeah. You know, to that stage, eventually. I'll learn how to mix and I'll, I'll, I'll do the mixing. But it is a case of yeah, I just if I've got an idea, I want to hear it and I want it, I want it done. And, and it's not saying other people aren't you know, slow or long. It's just sometimes your timelines don't fit. And it, the last project I did, Master of the Morning Sun, I was waiting for one thing on the album. But the problem is, I don't know if you guys ever get this. You've got a picture in your head of what something should be like. Mm-hmm. And it has to match that picture. Yeah. So I couldn't even say, forget it, don't send me it. Because in my mind, I was thinking, if I don't get this, it's not going to be the, the way I wanted it. And that's going to be quite frustrating. So I had to wait. So I've learned the lesson that if you're having features, I send them out early now. Even the first things I'm going to work on, if they've got features, I'll send them to people. So I know yeah. I've still got tracks to write when I'm waiting for pieces to come in. So I'm not waiting for the last, the last bit. That's a bit. I, I remember once waiting for um, it was like a, a beat sample sort of thing, and I was like, I explained to the guy what I was looking for and stuff like that, and I got it back, and I was like, that is not what I fucking suggested. Yeah. it was nearly what I suggested. That that face society EP that I made. Mm-hmm. That's still waiting for a feature. 
Ah, see. still waiting for a feature to this day. Can't trust humans, man. Yeah, that was what <laughs> six years ago, seven years ago. Still waiting. You can't trust the. And he's not even said he's he's at no point said that it wasn't happening. Ah, he just didn't do it. You can't trust mere mortals. Yeah, unfortunately, it's left you to us. You're right, though. But it's, do you know what? It, I, I also look at it and think I know everyone else is busy, but I'd rather. If I hit someone up and say, do you want to do something? I'd rather them say no. Yes. 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 Because I can't, I don't, I don't want to, I haven't the time. Then say, yeah, yeah, I'm on it. And then three months later, I'm thinking, okay, now my vision is not going to be the way it was because I can't get this piece of the jigsaw. I'm going to have to change the plan. And it's just, you know, maybe it's a kind of setting your ways thing when you get to an age that you think the vision is the vision. Um, mm. But yeah, features, I love working with people. But I just find it easier at times when you just plough through and, and do it yourself. Yeah, and definitely. I also feel there's a lot of albums these days that come out that they rely on everyone else's feature. So the album's got 15 tracks and you might get two tracks on there that are solo tracks and then everything else is featuring another artist. So if you look at a 15-track album, some MCs will write 15 verses. That's it. That's the album. Yeah. Done. It's Instead nice. of doing, you know, that would be four tracks to someone or to another artist. That could be, you know, a whole album because you only have to do one verse and then you put a feature on, which I don't, it's not something I'm really, I'm really with. I'd rather just make music, from, you know, with myself, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So be selfish, that man. Really That's you just have to be selfish with these, with these things, man. Just do it, do it as, do as you wish and as you wish. It's unfortunate because, as you say, working with people would be great. Mm hmm but you're sort of forced to just not do it, mm -hmm. which is sad. That is, that is. Or, or resign yourself to the fact that it's going to take longer or, you know, for me now, it's kind of it's kind of looking at the timeline and saying, okay, let me set a realistic timeline for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then when I've set that, then I think, okay, I can't be disappointed now because I've given, I've given enough time. But yeah, it's, it's one of those things, you know, but sometimes the record or, or or need a feature, you'll think that needs someone else on it to bring something out. Um, you know, and I like it. A lot of features that I've done on these two and some others where they send you the verse first, so you rub off their verse. Yeah. So it really challenges you. Someone sends you, like, um, do you remember uh, an MC from Nottingham called Lee Ramsey? Yes, he was without the yeah. bill. Yeah. Yeah. Ramsey sent me a verse. Me and Ramsey are good friends. He shot the video at my, at my wedding. Um, and I've known Ramsey for, well, years, 20, 25 years probably. Um, and he sent me a verse for a tune we're doing. And when I heard the verse, it made me go, shit, I'm going to have to write now. And honestly, I rang him and went, Lee, man, you smashed it. I'm going to have to really step up on, on what I want to do on this track because you've laid, you've, you've given me a tenth. So now I've got to give a tenth. Mm -hmm. If I'd written mine first and sent it to him, he would have come back and it would have been like, wait a minute. So it, I think it pushes you as well when you work with other people to, to stay to stay hungry. Because at the end of the day, we're all MCs. We still want to have that. There is that competition element in there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Well, thank you for joining us, man. It's been much appreciated. We'll try and... Uh... Uh, sorry, do you have uh, any links and stuff you want to add in? Uh, or any shout-outs or anything you want to add in? Yeah, um, the, the the album's out on all streaming platforms. So if you can check me on any of my socials, so Frisco Boogie on Instagram, Frisco Boogie on Facebook, uh, MC Frisco Boogie on Snapchat, um, Frisco Boogie on TikTok, um, on all of those. The album's out on Spotify, Apple Music, any streaming platform. Um, it's available to buy on Bandcamp. I may be putting vinyl out soon, not really sure. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that's going to work yet, but that might come. Um, so you can hit it up on all the platforms under Frisco Boogie. And then, yeah, just anyone that's supported, that's downloaded, that's listened, that's shared. Even if you share a Facebook story that I put up and someone else listens to it, I feel I'm eternally blessed for people who do that because that's what gets your music out these days. So I just really appreciate anyone that gives their time, you know, time's precious to, to help you know, spread the word. So, and to you guys, thank you very much for taking your time doing this. It's, you know, I love doing stuff like this and just getting the word out and talking to, to new people. So I come up to Scotland, I'm coming to check you. Definitely. Definitely, man. Definitely up for that, man. Where about you, where about you from in Scotland? We're in, we're in Fife. We're not too far away from, 
the we, other we, side of the bridge from uh, Edinburgh. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool. Because um, I sometimes work, I go up to uh, East Kilbride quite a bit. Okay. That's a little bit further away, so, but, that's, but it's okay. Yeah. I drive. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always, to be honest, when I come up, I'm always looking for somewhere, because I'm, I'm a graffiti artist as well, I'm always looking for places to paint, and no one can ever link me with a spot um, to, that, that, that they know that it's like legal to go and paint. So I might have to tap your brains at one point. If, we know a spot, and this... The shitty town we live in, there's like shitty graffiti everywhere. So if we can, we'll find you a spot, man. Next time you come up, we'll find something for you. I'm on that, definitely. I will definitely, definitely, definitely be on that. Perfect, perfect. So, <laughs> right, well, thanks for, oh, join- oh, thanks, we- thanks for joining us, man, and we'll let you go, my man. Thank you very much for your time, and have a great week, great weekend, and just keep doing what you're doing, guys. Love it, love you it. You too, my man. Thanks very much. All right, then. Cheerio. See you later. Peace. There's times in our lives where we've all got problems There's only two ways to deal with them Either solve them or leave them Sometimes you just gotta walk away Goodbye to the fakest fix, let me say goodbye And leave it all behind Goodbye to the lonely days, let me say goodbye And keep walking Goodbye to the lovers of hate, let me say goodbye Let me say goodbye Leave it all behind Let's go it's time for me to say bye and not see you later. You see, this world can make you livid in a blizzard of bullshit. The snake pit awaits from the fate. Sometimes it just feels like I'm skydiving in the rain, a razor blade. Falling deep into the lemon juice parade, adding soul to the wounds. Harpooned by the shooting stars as I try and reach the moon. Philosophies for life, enjoy yourself but save some. Picking strawberries in summer, eat two and save one. Took a little back, then stack it up for the next plan. Freeze the strawberries but light a fire in your hands. Place them on your heart and get a burning desire. So we hustle hard today and then tomorrow we retire on Malibu beaches. Peach fuzz on the LP player. A healthy day or two, pursue a new you. Some ways blazing through. Chakras on shackle, mind and body aligned, free from hassle. Goodbye to the fakest fix, let me say goodbye Let's walk away Goodbye to the lonely days, let me say goodbye And leave you all behind Goodbye to the lovers of hate, let me say goodbye Let me say goodbye It's time for me to say bye and not see you later So tell Lucifer this lecture is a lifetime achievement My life lands some real shit, it's time so to deal with Let's break bread and feel it, record and reel to reel it Rewind a thousand times, play it back so we can feel it Reminisce the pain and squeal it, maybe take one knee and kneel it Then rise up and fight the feeling, the powers, the people The broken promises of evil, procrastinating parliaments too late for the people Victories ain't voted for, the victim just steals the oars Drops the M and returns to shores, and shores damn it The planet is rotten to the core, if you believe that you'll believe all You just gotta run me to the rubble Find the rainbows And maybe one day you will even find that bottle of gold Until then, hold tight, keep your head up And keep moving forward even when you're fed up Goodbye to the fakest fix, let me say goodbye Let's walk away Goodbye to the lonely days, let me say goodbye And leave you all behind Goodbye to the lovers of hate, let me say goodbye For me to say bye and not see you later Goodbye to the fakest fix Let me say goodbye Goodbye to the lonely days Let me say goodbye Goodbye to the lovers of hate Let me say goodbye Me to say bye and not see you later. Awesome. Fuck it. I enjoyed that interview, man. Enjoyed that. That was dope. Awesome. Awesome. You're going to need some paint for us. I'm interested because I, 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 I sent him uh, some was... professional Kennaway vandalism. <clears throat> well, it was fucking, it was just like an awful Rangers yep. thing. And, Shit. Oh, yeah. man. Well, it was Windigates, was it not? I think so. For, right. for all the American fans. Oh, yeah, yeah. For all those guys. I was winning the not Kennedy. Uh, so that will clear that up for you. Oh, definitely. Don't want to be fully interested. <laughs> um, so, aye, that happened. Uh, and uh, like, hopefully it comes up and sorts that shit the fuck out. Aye. 
Awesome. Although it will be a way by the time he's up. So. Will we? Aye, they'll totally be cleaning it as up. Oh, I mean, aye, it'll be all like covered up. Aye. Totally, completely. Uh, so that was the interview with Fish Show Boogie. Thoroughly enjoyed that again. Um, what do we have next? Oh, MF Boom Time. Boom Time! You didn't even come with us off here, you? So we're going to kick off right now with the first MF Boom! Which is an instrumental track. This is from KZ, I'm assuming is the pronunciation. Let's so, go with that. Let's go, let's go. This is a track called Born Dead. He's with Born Dead. And now the second MF track is from uh, Jamal Gasol. The track called Flamboyant featuring Ito. Yeah. Let's get into it. One, two, one, two. Yeah. From the top, my nigga. Yo, picture this. We only three months in. Feeling like the man of the year Walking out the king of diamonds with baguettes in my ear I can feel it in the air Champagne Perrier She a screamer Don't really want my neighbors to hear My time to shine is now You old niggas wash like Bow Wow Don't care about your past, how you living now Let's take a walk on my side of town Show you what it's hitting for A couple of places you unfitted for See, all game ain't game Some niggas talk too much They gotta learn how to listen more Stay yo 50, I condition more Every year my name getting bigger than the year before Money replaced the days I was poor Had to get the time that I lost back Started in the jacks by the railroad tracks If you wasn't there, homie, you can't recall that I'm all that, see you using my format Your style is mine, totally I already wore that You can't afford it if it sticks That ain't money if it rips, my nigga You see, I kept it on me then Please give me a reason now And I'ma let it rip, my nigga All on the strength of Money and dead love Niggas ain't solid, my G They gotta shed blood Whole lot of he said Niggas get left, cuz No hard feelings Hard heads get their heads plugged I hate to be the one to break the news We already been those dudes What them dudes do now I already did those moves Hit the 31, put it in cruise I'm Home Depot with a trunk full of tools I don't support you fools We fire from the same kind Rap alike but we ain't on the same time Man, I heard you fool through the grapevine Couple homies who throw sixes and bang five it's safe to say that the game line Awesome tracks Packed of course by Craig every week Yes indeed See that last week mm-hmm. Or the week before or whatever week it was That's, I, I, what, I Can don't... I just say that uh, We played Born Dead By KZ mm-hmm. Assuming that's their name uh, Can I also give a shout out to Rusty Blade Because that was the, the, I was trying to pick between which beat Because mm-hmm. Right now, it's huge. Like, Japan's quite big for boom bap, but chill hop stuff. Right. So it's like quieter beats and like less going on and no quite as hard hitting uh, drums and stuff like that. But it's nice. It's like cool, chilled out. That's chill hop. That's what that's right. the whole point. Uh, but that's quite big in Japan. But I quite like the aggressive boom bap style. Mm. And. Uh, Casey was the only one that I found this week. So I was trying to pick between one of the two more aggressive boom bap style tunes that I had. Mm-hmm. And they uh, ended up choosing the one we played because of the hook. Because there was some scratch. I don't know if it was scratching or whether it was just part of the sample that they used. No, no. But uh, there was some 
there was more to it than the Rusty Blade one. So I wanted to show off more of the producer. And I felt like that one was a, a way to do that. That's absolutely fine. Again, the job's yours <coughs> every week to find out uh, what happens in the band camp game. So, eh. Shells yeah. to Japan, though. Japan's fucking killing it with the... Japan's always been... Shell hop. Well, Japan's always been sort of big and, big and hip-hop and stuff like that. Well, for the past few weeks, is, they've been huge on band camp. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is about Japan, but kill shit. It's awesome, man. It's awesome. Okay, we're going to get into more tunes. Uh, we're going to kick off with Escalibur and Jabba the Cut with Kali Yuga. Concrete Slugs with Sudden Death. Crypt with Bad Friend. And All of a Sudden and Jazz T with My Old Wax. <laughs> we first appear with the burning spear to murder them. Emerge from the earth's surface. The serpents are here to so worship them. Certain to confirm your fears. Purpose clear. Hurling them through the firmament sphere. First the circle sphere in the firmament is turbulent. We do true voodoo magic. Yeah. My crew do juju. And who do practice? I'm cuckoo. A fruit loop with true blue madness. A fuse blew my two screws. Now my new views backwards. You're acting like tough guys. But rappers are tongue tied. We bust rhymes, we punch lines. They shatter your dumb mind. No matter your blood type. We giving you the Dracula lap bite We're packing it, attacking it one time A wicked old man Nicks and nicks in a witch's cauldron Leave your frigid clothes and figure thrown inside a disc that's open So sip the potion Lips are swollen, bits of skinny rolling yeah. Rip your inner soul, expose your inner Leave your spirit floating, offing wax spitters It's the body bag fillers, eliminating imitators We're the copycat killers, demonic mass sinners That were squashing rap quitters, yeah. feed your fears Deep careers, done like Matt Miller's Rick controlling minds, what you're visualising is lucid so close your eyes Behold the science in the cybering in juices Show us mics Rose the strike Spin the time at the zoo kids Oh god We pulverise you brittle rhymers We're ruthless You spill a novice Kill the whack for real I promise Cops is stiff for rigor mortis It's a fact with ceiling coffins Killer, Killer bombers. bombers Dropping cinematic Lyric monsters Twitching body swinging Like a silverback the winner's bollocks I'm killing the enemy swiftly You're feeling the energy in me A lyrical weapon You better be head of Arrest in the cemetery quickly The venom is setting in wrecking the skeleton And never the evidence is seen Tell them it's risky Tell us to shift it Send them the help of the devil's <laughs> again Weapons on what we get aiming, we're murdering mice. Sudden death waiting, we're bugging in beats, we're sucking breath taking, burning with the bars when we bust your left flaming. Words of weapons on what we get aiming, we're murdering mice. Sudden death waiting, we're bugging in beats, we're sucking breath taking, burning with the bars when we bust your left flaming. Words of weapons on what we get aiming, we're murdering mice. Sudden death waiting, we're bugging in beats. With something breathtaking Burning with the bars when we bust your left flaming Words of weapons on what we get aiming We're murdering mics Sudden death waiting We're bugging in beats With something breathtaking Burning with the bars when we bust it. Two thirty in the morning and I get a text from my friend. She said I need you right now and I already knew what that meant. See me and this girl, we think alike. Too many phone calls spent for me to know she's thinking about her life and how it's gonna end. See on the outside we're happy and we show it to the world and we put on this fake exterior so the truth won't unfurl. But I know who she is 'cause it's like looking in a mirror. All these smiles and cries for help and it couldn't be any clearer. So I pick up the phone and call her as she answers through her cries. She's hyperventilating, telling me that she wants to die. My heart. Heart starts to race and my thoughts begin to blur We're nine hours apart but I'm seconds from losing her I try to calm her down and tell her what she means to me Even though we're new friends, she's seen a side that no one sees Told her listen to my breaths, I'm right here, please breathe You got so much left to do, stay here, don't leave The cries got even louder as the breaths got short I told her listen to my words as I fell down to the floor Stay with me, I'm here, let it out, it's okay Just cry till you can't cry, no more tears down your face A couple minutes went by and the crying finally stopped But not because she did, because the phone call dropped I called her back quick, just hoping I'd hear hello But I just kept getting met with the sounds of those dial tones I froze, what do you do in that moment? Do you call the police, or do you hope that she's over it? Get a hold of her parents and tell them the situation Just so they can pull her from college and end her aspirations Leave it alone and hope it was just an escapade Pray from a text from her in the morning saying that she's okay Call anyone you know just to make sure that she's alive Ignore it completely and pray to God that she survived I let it go, she must have wanted to be alone 
I guess that this was just another one of her episodes She never told no one about this depression she dealt with And who was I to air out her secrets that would be selfish So I lay down in my bed and I rested my head Closed my eyes and drifted peacefully to sleep Then I dreamt that I would see her tomorrow And I would speak to her then Till I was woken to several missed calls and texts that she's dead My heart broke she downed a bottle of pills She took him shortly after our call in it And it felt surreal She was a friend of many A student athlete at her school A daughter, a sister, a very special jewel At the funeral they told us that nobody had a clue That they could have saved her life If only that they knew And if someone at the funeral had ever felt depressed To get some help so that your face will never end up in the press There wasn't a dry face in the room Only 22 years old An entire life in front of her And now she's laying there cold If only I would called someone we wouldn't be here now, and nobody would be sad, and I wouldn't feel like I let her down. But that's not what happened, cause instead of going to bed, I called every person I knew to check to make sure you weren't dead. I stayed up seven hours, praying every second of it, just hoping to get a text saying that you weren't heaven sent, but then I got it. You told me that I had no right, and blocked me on everything, and we ain't talked since that night. Was I a bad friend? Options? I had none. I guess I'd rather be a bad friend than a sad one. Stacko wax, cup of tea, cold biffers. Catch you next time, yeah. Pick a crate, any crate. I got many, mate. A different flavour to save you from any state. Get it straight, it's the therapy I need. After long weeks, time to meditate indeed. Get a big bag of tie and I separate the seeds. In the zone in my home, you can't penetrate with grief. Heavenly relief, straight calm when the crackle comes. Having lunch, red rum breaks, hear a bang and crunch. Rare groove to the afro, jazz and funk. Stack them up, we can make a tape if you want to. Bump it on the boom box as we walk through. People heard the groove and they knew that I'm a cool dude. Never let a digi DJ fool you. Hard drives in the archive you can drool through. I like them physical with credits to read. So you know where I'll be with a large cup of tea. Yeah, I'd love to come wings, but I've got too many records to spend enough this week. I'm not fucking going for another fucking five, ten pounds for a pint. I'm going to stay in tonight. My hip hop wall is overflowing. I'll be making more space in my place for the gems to go in. Never had a problem if there's nothing on telly. Have a little dance to the scar and the rock steady. Eating good, I rest the sleeve on my pop belly. Gotta keep them crisp. Wax sessions never got messy. Found a couple bits I cop for a quid. That could pay a lot of rent if I wanted to flip. But they're mine. I play rare bangers all the time. My UK crates, everybody gets a shine. I'm trying to make my special guest get it When I play local artists, they never got the credit And when you walk in, the hoarding is clear to see But every single record that I'm keeping is dear to me A long week, never snooze on the groove So you know where I'll be with the juice and the dude Switch my phone off, feet up, lounging, fresh wax switch See on the flip side of some beats so if I ain't reading live old raps From a file old facts Of one of my shows gassed I got the hydro stacks And the pints flow that's The type of night that I'm chilling Playing my old wax Off the streets where there's five old rats Trying to put spikes down when the wine old sat I just scribbled down bars with my biro hats Up in the crib on my ones Playing my old wax so if I ain't reading live old raps From a file old facts Of one of my shows gassed I got the hydro stacks And the pints flow that's The type of night that I'm chilling Playing my old wax Off the streets where there's five old rats Trying to put spikes down with the wine old sat I just scribbled down bars with my viral old hats Up in the crib on my ones Playing my old wax Job of the Cup with the uh, Carl Yuga, Concrete Slugs with Southern Death, Crypt with Bad Friend, Oliver Southern, and Jazz T with My Old Wax. Fantastic. The show's been amazing so far. Um, we built well, basically, if you want to check our socials and stuff like that, you check it. It's in the link tree in the description. Um, anything for the sister pod? Yes, we do. From our sister podcast this week, Lawrence Krauss. 
Yeah. What the fuck? We'll be joining the podcast on Friday. That is mental. He will be. Aye. Well, it has done. It has already been. But it will be... It will be publicly on. Public, publicly available. So yes, we have that to look forward to on Friday. Yep. Science Month has went very fucking well. Very fucking well, man. So we've got that and then we finish so off. with that one. Aye. We've got Lawrence Kirsten and then we got the Monday... We have the Science Round Table, which finishes off Science Month. Yep. And then we'll uh, rounds in. off. Is that Science? No, it's the Round Table. It rounds well off yes, well Science done, Month. Well you see what I've done there? I did, I. Rounds. Yep. Rounds off. Yes. It was a round table. Stop. So, Lawrence Krauss, Round Table, on the Sister Podcast, and more from us next week yep. on this podcast. We're going to end right now with Hobson. And this track is called Alone With Me. You got anything else to add in before we go, Craig? Yeah, this tune is dope. It's really fucking... The, it's very rare that you find a song like this that's got a a new a new way of telling the story. <laughs> and this seems to be... It's not like... It's not like it's unheard of. Like, oh, there's never been a song where there's been inside voices being heard. Uh. That's been done, but this is like a... It's new... And it's hard to explain how it's new, but you sort of get it if you watch the video. Mm-hmm. I think you'll get it if you watch the video more than you'll get it if you just listen to the song. So don't bother listening to this podcast. Just go straight to the video. Yeah. If you've already made it here, you can you can reward yourself if you've made it to this part of the podcast. Go and watch the video. Yeah. Just turn off here. Who cares? Should I be doing that at no, all? No. no. Stay and listen and then watch the video Then watch again. the video because it's better. Thank you very much. Peace the fuck out. Marcus fucking Hobson, my guy, what up? Don't mean to intervene. How are things going? Talk to me. How you living, G? You look so confused right now. Do you remember me? Because I've been with you since a teen, fucking you up mentally. I love it, dude. Staying inside your head with a rent is free. I'm just here to make sure you keep all your crazy tendencies. Look at yourself in disbelief, struggle with your identity. Stuck in depression until you diagnose with it clinically. How's your love life? It's still a trifling mess. Nigga, you 35. You haven't found a wife yet? I mean, if I was you, would I be stressed? Why ES? I guess a mail order bride is nice, it might be best. <laughs> so how did you manage to get rich yet be so empty? Constantly stuck in a deep old frenzy. Maybe your ego ain't eco-friendly. Bro, you got a life that we don't envy. And I bet suicide must be so tempting. Do it. Wait, hold up. Damn. Fuck's wrong with me. I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who oh, is this nigga? Why do I feel it? It could be good. And then it's like a mirror. Wait, hold up. Shit. It's got control of me. I don't know. Supposed to be I'm like Who is this nigga And why do I feel it It couldn't be clear The man inside the mirror so how's the rap life? Do people enjoy your music? Or are you still spitting that bullshit to destroy the youth with? Be honest, you live in the shadow with Joy and Lucas. Uh-oh. You jealous? <laughs> I know that you are, my point is proof. What fuck happened to you? You was spitting so cold, you was the ill mind of Hobson on the list with the ghosts. Then you fell off, you should've took a different approach. Uh-huh. I hate to say it, but you'll never be like Kendrick or Cole, nigga. Damn. It's fucked up. That isn't fair, Marcus. I'm hoping that God will answer your prayers, Marcus. But even if he does, the chances are rare that you'll have hands in the air Headlining Madison Square Garden Nigga put the mic down Don't you fight this fight Cause you the corny rapper Only weird white kids like So every time the blogs post you The comments gon' roast you I would rather be dead Than be caught living in your shoes Wait, hold up I'm tripping Fuck's wrong with me I can't leave me alone with me I'm like, who is this nigga? And why do I feel it? It could be good And then inside the mirror Wait, hold up Please stop It's got control of me I don't know who I'm supposed to be I'm like, who is this nigga? I got an idea. I'll tell you how it works. It's gonna sound a little outrageous, but hear me out first. You turn your phone off for two weeks and start an outburst of worried family members, which leads to a local town search. And when they find you, you dead inside of your crib with a letter that says goodbye to your kid. <laughs> but you don't get to see him anyway, cause your ex is wild in this shit. So when it's little head, it's like you already died. It's a trip. While you reside in heaven and hell, whichever side that it is, your baby mom's a regret the shit she never tried to get fixed. If you're alive, chances are she'll never try to repent. I'm just trying to show you ways to Exercise your revenge All you want is love, right? Well, you gon' have to get some balls Shoot your fucking brains out Until they splat against the walls I mean, it has to hit the blogs And all your fans will get involved And you'll be missed Cause people don't know what they have Until it's lost Hug your dad and kiss your mom Before this transition is done Into the new life Your current one is trash It isn't fun Yeah, everybody got problems And we all fighting this big war But your problems are different You got nothing to live for Wait 
Hold up, oh no. Fuck's wrong with me. I can't leave me alone with me. I'm like, who is this nigga? And why do I feel it? It could be clear. The man inside the mirror. Hold up, please stop. It's got control of me. I don't know who I'm supposed to be. I'm like, who is this nigga? And why do I feel it? It could be clear. The man inside the mirror. What I'm thinking, what you're thinking is not the important thing. We are alive right now. That is the important thing. It is important that you focus on this fundamental sense of aliveness within you. And then you will see there is a natural distance between you and your thought process. Once you create a little space between you and your mind, between you and your body, this is the end of suffering. Don't identify any thought as negative because it's just a thought. Who told you it's negative? the thought. You're making it up, maybe you like it. What's the problem? If you understand it's just a thought, it has no power. If you think it's a reality, then it destroys you.